Hi everyone. It's me, Keegan. And me, JC. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain Family. And it is Suggestions Week, and today we're at Per Suggestion. We are here off 321 at Winery Square, and we're about to take you guys in to the Museum of Salt and Pepper Shakers. They have been featured on Food Network. Uh, this is quite an old suggestion, and we are happy to get around to it. We've, been, we've actually been wanting to try this place out for a little bit, so let's get it. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Where you came from, as if you're visiting, and they have a ton of them on over here. But here's this one. So, this is just the first half of 2021. This is the second half. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my so, the small pens are far from like, don't collect salt and pepper shakers, and that it says visitors get the big, the collectors get the big ones. Is that what it says? It says visitors small, collectors big. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I'm guessing collector means you like. Yeah, absolutely. Look at all these from Alaska. Most of them are the smaller ones. Yeah, just people that are visiting. Yeah. And then what is this? This is so far in the second half of 2021. I wonder how many people that actually come through here do this. And even if everyone, I mean, that's a lot of people. And we were talking about like a lot of people really don't know that this place is here, how cool it is and things like that. And, um, but they still get a lot of traffic here. Hey, no one from where, what state is this? Where are we I at? I think it's the only state. That, that's actually Canada, babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a master's degree, I swear. <laughs> oh boy. Here is like, there's Winnie the Pooh, Mickey and Minnie. Mini. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, look at the, oh my gosh. Look at Alice in Wonderland. Nightmare Before Christmas. Alice in Wonderland. Peter Pan. They're painting the roses red. And uh, Akuna Matata. Look, that, look that scar. Anytime I see scar in the hyenas, I think of that one scene. Mufasa, 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 Mufasa. Frankenstein's monster, the Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Superman. Oh, there's um, Piggy, Piggy and the Brain. And the brain. And then Simpsons. Presidents. I want to watch the Flintstones. Sweetie Bird. Pepe the Pew. There's a whole Flintstones. Flintstones. I want to watch it again. The Sesame Street. Muffets. A lot of Bugs Bunny. There's Charlie Brown. Warner Brothers. Where's Charlie Brown? Aren't they? Oh, yeah, Charlie Brown. Oh. Smokey Bear. Look, 2016 Gatlinburg Wildfire Survivors. Oh, uh, wow. Well. And it's all around by Smokey Bear. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice what it actually yeah. was. It's too melted down, huh? We have holiday sections up here. This one is the Christmas one. I love this little Snoopy. I think, however, what I like more is that there's so many from so long ago that it's like retro. But you all have retros and 
What about these chickens, mom? They have Christmas chickens. The ornaments look so real. Here's some Native American pieces that are pretty cool. Some Thanksgiving stuff. We, me and the girls were looking at this corn. Look how big that one is. Oh, wow. That salt and pepper shaker. The pipes here, it's pretty cool. Oh, that is really cool. Buffalo. <laughs> Carved wood. So then some of these are... At the top here, they have it labeled, like what, what it is meant to be. With the Thomas pieces. Those, well, they, the stoves. Hot belly stoves, I think I call. Check out these wiener dogs. Oh, the girls love these. That's crazy. It's like a zebra. The squirrels with the tails. They're cute. <laughs> One thing's for certain right off the rip. Um, I knew there would be a lot of salt and pepper shakers in here, but the uniqueness of these pieces are crazy. And you're about to see it now. Oh yeah, it, it, it's crazy. Here's the wood salt and pepper shaker section. I don't know why they stand out to me. Wait, what about these eggs? These wood eggs. I don't know why I have all these. That's the one that stands out. Yeah. The books. And Look then at the Knoxville. This is Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. It's the vegetable section. What in the world? That's some corn. Oh, look at the carrot. He's sad. Look at him. So this is, I don't know if you can tell, but these are like behind glass here a few feet. The carrot is so sad about it. Have you seen me? Look at all yeah. of them. Why are the carrots the one that's sad? The chefs. Gators. Look at the diner. Like that's a that's a, a salt or a pepper shaker right there. Like that thing. Uh, it's huge. The car beside it. The cutest in this transportation is the witch for the broom. The broom. <laughs> That's the cutest. Look at these guys. This is insane. This is like the old school, like the kind of the blueprint. Oh, there's space. What about the armadillo? NASA. Oh, the armadillo no. rolls, it rolls. food section it's a salt and pepper shaker and the big salt and pepper shaker oh yeah yeah m&m's there let's say it again babe it's the salt and pepper shaker but in the bin in the big one the yeah. things that you take them out to put them in yeah but, uh, are these look at this look at this that's cool they're like the mallets or something i feel like i use too much but I have <laughs> Tabasco, you see the Tabasco there, guys? You can tell some of these are very, like, probably worth a lot of money. Check out the mushroom. Oh, I'd hate to say how many dollars worth it. Is that Humpty Dumpty? Um, maybe. Because up there, it's like, looks like store, but gooses. <laughs> now we're getting to the beverage section. Vinegar. There's some Budweiser right there. There's a huge banana section. <laughs> Look over here. Some nuns. Nuns. Yeah, nuns, monks. Look at the, the like the wine glasses and the different glasses. Look at these curvy guys there. It's amazing. This bear is keeping his mask on at all times. Don't be a Pinocchio. Cover up your nose. Come on, Cindy, it's all chickens. <laughs> Look at these chickens. This section we're getting into we're getting into some farm life here, some cows, pigs, dogs, cats, mice, squirrels, bears, desert, frogs. Here's the cow section. The pink cows there that look fancy look like they're so fancy. 
There's Look at the one with who's showing you his butt in the purple. <laughs> <laughs> the old school milk jug there? Those are nice. He is so nice. Yeah. Those are your normal cows, I guess. I want to that one with the flower on it. No, this one right here one. Is, is me. Well, I'm, all I've been, I've been, I've been saying I'm like a cow right now. All I've been doing is eating like what salads, eating him? grass, and I feel huge. <laughs> what happened to him? He got sliced in half. That's to make the sauce and The dogs, do we see cats. Do we see an Iggy? Nope. Iggy's a cat of I don't feel like we're ever going to see an Iggy. Never. The cats on the chairs, the that's cute. Like well, they're sleeping the in the chairs. The wagon and basket. And then you got the dogs over here. Is that a weird dog in a toaster? <laughs> There's some pigs too. I skipped the pigs. No so jelly. Zoom in on that a little bit there. Some of these pigs look scary. Mm -hmm. Look. They're like, what? Hey guys. How does it feel to be surrounded by 20,000 salt and pepper shakers? Normal. Normal? I probably love my lunch and hot what do you think, babe? I didn't know like this was a thing. I didn't either. Crazy. Look at this. Look it's at like all I this. thought. I thought we would turn this corner here and, and it would, be, and it would be like almost over. Yeah. But like I'm wondering what happens after this corner up here. <laughs> Here's the bear. I like the section. honey pots. The honey pot. Yeah, those are cool. What's surprising? People ask if there's really a lot of bears here. Look, when we lived in Kentucky, you'd have to worry about a deer jumping out in front of you. Here it's the same thing, but it's not deer, it's bears. Yeah, <laughs> or that's like we'll the be truth. taking the girls. We were coming down Glades one morning and a bear just jumped right out in front of us. Like a deer would. Yeah. And then um, like just going down to the strip in the morning, they're just walking the street. Hold on. Is that the Duke? Huh? Pretty sure that's the Duke right there. Who's the Duke? Hold the phone. Hold on a second. There is a an hey, alien. With two spaceships right there. You guys see it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Look at the Devil's Tower one right there. But the thing about it is, two shelves down, what about those impressive kangaroos? <laughs> They're impressive. Keegan wants to go. Her number one place in the world is Australia. Yeah. My favorite is this. That's your favorite? The frogs? The frogs. My favorite is the hippopotamus. The one that's growling. Or growling or yawning or whatever. I don't think we hippos are. What if he's laughing? Hippos. Oh, nice well, time. here's the thing. Hippos kill more than lions, right? No, I believe so. I think I've read okay, that. Okay, I don't like eating bones. Hippos. And then the frogs. Oh, the over frogs here. on the sun tan. They're getting a sun tan. Oh my god, that's my favorite. They can't just skim over these oh sun tan frogs. Frogs are sun tan frogs. They're right here. They're clearly getting a sun tan on the beach. I love them. They're like. There's big owl ones here. Some little ones. Souvenirs of the USA, just some Hawaii pieces. I'm drawn to these orange the ones. 2000 Millennium. Remember when the whole world was going to shut down at, in 2000? These orange ones just got me. Their oh, mom's Florida. Windows. So these are kind of, I think, uh, separated by states and things <gasps> like the that. There's the genie. He's in there. You see it? The genie? Yes. Yeah. And the, oh, we got different, like the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building. Space Needle. Feet. Am I even showing it? Yeah, okay. Um, go New York City. Feet. And then look at all these shot glasses. That's, that's cool. Salt shakers. And you got King Kong there. More Statue of Liberty. King's Island. Look at that. Yeah. There's a King's Island one. We haven't been to Dollywood. We're King's Island snobs. We're going yeah. now. <laughs> Sears Tower down that there. That map is so cool. Route 66. And then Bigfoot. See, you can't even go to the salt and pepper shake without seeing Bigfoot. Oh, look, it says that there's, oh, here's one. Look at this on this map here. Collection by Gary. Um, What's were created one? in 1950. So it's all the states, one from each state, I suppose. Oh, I love the ace. That's cool. Let me get back into it. There's a, the blue glass. I feel like well, my grandparents have some of these, you know? Why? Well, look at them. Look at these like golden color pieces. I wonder if they're actually made out of. Maybe it is gold. I don't think so. I feel like there's a ring that's called gold. Yeah.
Alright, so I'm the Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum. I'm going to jump in with a rating. That was so different and cool and I didn't know something like that would exist. I'm going to rate it a 10. Now, let me tell you, not only is it cool, and I think it's like a once in a lifetime experience. It's been on Food Network. There's a bunch of articles that came here, you know, and, and all that. It's family. But I think what sold it to make it a 10 for me is locals get in for free. Now, like, you have to really be a local, like, ID type stuff. Um, but that that is beyond, like, because when he said that, I was like, wow. Like, it's not like they're huge business. You see there's, they get a lot of business, obviously, mm -hmm. with those. The so pens. maybe I'm incorrect. But we have went to establishments, restaurants that have multiple restaurants in the area that make a lot of money and there is no local discount, like zero. And they kind of look at you like, no, you know, like you're silly. And this place is letting you in for free, you know? And I don't think it's, how much is it normally? And the price if you're not a local is just $3. And if you buy something in the store, that goes towards your purchase. I mean, it's so well priced, you know, like you can't get over that. And then not only is it so well priced, but it's so impressive. Like it's really impressive. I kept turning the corner and was like, oh, this is probably the end. <laughs> it wouldn't be. And I don't know, it's just a very different experience. So a 10 for me. Keegan, what do you rate it? I would rate it a 10 as well. They're really nice. It's really big. They have a ton of different things there. I really like the salt and pepper shake. It's really cheap. And if you're local, you get it for free. 10. What do you rate it, JC? <laughs> <laughs> I rate it a 10. It was like... You think it was to be gone? Like whenever, when you, if you keep them walking, there was a cut. And then whenever we saw that, we was like, is it ended yet? Said, no. <laughs> What'd you see? Did you see a Stitch uh, salt and pepper shaker? A lot of them actually. She loves I love Stitch. Them. Yeah. I saw Dumbo awesome. too. Yeah. And a ton of Nightmare yeah, I saw, And I saw one on the Lion King. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm gonna give it a 10. I just, I mean, if you wanted to be critical of it, uh, you would have a hard time because I don't know of anything that you could compare it to. But I can tell you that I went in knowing that we were going to see a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I probably underestimated the creativity that went behind them and what can be a salt and pepper shaker, like the one with the mallet and there was just, you know, the wiener dogs and all this other kind of stuff. It's just uh, a, a lot of cool stuff. I like the fact that they have implemented the pin boards to like show year after year where people come from how many people collected and did not realize another thing did not realize how many people actually collected um salt and pepper shakers so that was really cool so alex and his wife uh, i want to mention that alex and his wife lost their home during the 2016 wildfires here and the melted salt and pepper shakers that you've seen in the museum were actually from their home they said they lost about four thousand of their most cherished sets there uh, which is just, it's tra I mean, tragic in general, but you know, just, man, it, it's crazy to hear that story. The fact that they do let locals in free is a, is a, is a really cool thing. The fact that you get in for $3 anyway is even cooler. And even cool, even cooler is the fact that, um, with, and you mentioned this, you know, a lot of places that make a lot of money when a family comes in, don't do that sort of thing for, for the local community here. The fact that on a normal admission of a family of four, he makes $12 and still gives that discount to locals is just amazing. And I think it's a testament to their business and, and their commitment to the community here. So, all right, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.